Noah is a Dan Aronofsky film. It's coming out in March and it's based obviously on the biblical story of Noah, but it's still really Darren's story and he's made this sort of very old, very, very short story actually, something that feels very modern and current. She's a very conflicted character and she has tough decisions to make. She's very vulnerable, she's very pure, she's very naive, but she's also very strong. And I found that sort of, that conflict interesting. I guess, I guess I wouldn't choose to wear dreadlocks. That wouldn't be, that wouldn't, <laughs> that wouldn't be uh, a choice that I would make. It was New Year's Eve recently and uh, I decided that it would be a good idea to do a handstand in a party dress. Not very smart. No, I mean, that's, that's it. I mean, what more do I need to say? I feel like she's very important, not just because she's smart, but because she told girls that it was okay to be slightly bossy and that it was, it was okay to be studious and slightly, slightly nerdy. That's a different kind of smart. It's slightly Machiavellian, I guess. She's, she's a chess player. She, she, she sees her moves sort of, I think, a few moves ahead. Or, I mean, it really depends how you view the character, but I always thought Nikki underneath it was, was a smart girl. She wasn't just an opportunist, I think. <laughs> um, smart in the sense that she grabs that axe and she, she's not gonna let anyone get in the way. I think there was a line that got cut from the movie which is that I'd been living off McDonald's ketchup packets. She's a badass survivor. I started working when I was nine years old. I think I, I hoped that there'd always be time for me to work but this time in my life to be able to, to really study and learn about myself and learn about the world around me was a really important thing to do and I'm really really glad that I made the time for it and the space in my life for it. Let's I'm an English it. literature major, yeah, so I'll graduate in May. Oh. <laughs>